Hello everyone. In last lesson, we talked about properties, instance variable, instance methods. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about uh, Objective-C foundation frameworks, which is NS object, NS string, NS array, NS dictionary, and NS number. So let's move on. Okay, I haven't talked before about the block that is supported. Okay, I haven't talked uh, before about the blog that supports the video tutorials. Uh, if you go to this URL, which is uh, hoxtech, H-U-X-T-E-K, dot blogspot dot com, you can see all of the description for each tutorial, and you can copy the code uh, and paste it in your S code project and also if you have a finished project you can see for example in in hello world application which is tutorial 2 you can come here and download the full project in zip format and use it um, easily in this tutorial I want to uh, go through some theoretic material and this is something like types of variables and properties which are the foundation frameworks of Xcode. So the first foundation frameworks is NSObject and almost all of the Objective-C uh, classes are inherited from this class. This is NSObject. We will talk about it later on. Uh, we, we, we are not using as a property type but this is uh, this is something that you should know about the properties. All of the other types are inherited from this class. Next we have NS string and uh, it is something like property type of string and as I said we can easily define um, string type by um, friend property and then say okay, non atomic two words that I say just write it as it is I will talk about it later on strong and then the type which is ns string and you can oh my viber is <laughs> ringing don't worry and my string and semicolon so you just type you just define the property which is type of ns string and you can implement it by at sign synthesize and name of the property here we have my string equal to underscore my screen I will talk about each foundation framework later and what are the useful methods for each foundation but just uh, right now I just want to define each important and uh, types in this tutorial so if we go to the, oh, we have the NS mutable string which is the mutable version of NS string. If I want to later on, I, I'm going to use this string, for example, my string. If I want to uh, change it uh, and add it to this string, it's not doable. We can we have to define another variable and put this string inside of that string. But if we want to modify this string, we have to use another um, type, which is uh, NS mutable string and uh, the way that we define it is exactly like we have for NS string we define at sign property non-atomic and strong and NS mutable string oh not set string and we can say my you can have more space by this my mutable string and that's it and we can implement and uh, create the setters and getters by synthesize it my mutable string equals to my mutable and you can see Xcode is really good for autocomplete as soon as I start typing, it will show me the rest of the um, variable name. And all I have to do is just press tap. If I say tap, tap, 
and it'll autocomplete for me. So this is the way that we define my mutable string or mutable string type. As I said, I will talk about each property and how we can use this in the next tutorial. For each type, we have one tutorial, so don't worry. We just I just want to and say how to define the NS string here. Let's get rid of them. Yeah. Next one is NS array, which is the type of array. If you want to define an array, array a list of items, you have to use NS array. And the way that we define it is just come here and say assign property and then non-atomic tab strong tab NS array and say my array. And that's it. This is how we define an array. It's exactly like the one that we have for NS stream, but just the type is NS array. And the way that we implement it, synthesize, and then my array equals my array. That's it. Okay. In order to have a little bit more room, I'll tap enter here. And Again, we have an mutable array. If we want to modify this array, add stuff, remove stuff, and uh, we need to use the type of NS mutable array. And the way that we define it is exactly like the others: non-atomic, strong, NS mutable array, and my mutable array. And also here, implemented by at sign synthesize, my mutable array equals my mutable array. Yep. So this is array, and then we have NS dictionary. NS dictionary is a, a list of keys and values, and if you want some value, you just call the key and it will return the value for you and we have in other languages also like Java and any other languages so we have it in Objective-C as type of NS dictionary and the way that we define it is exactly like the others say that's on property non-atomic strong NS dictionary and my dictionary and we synthesize it by my dictionary equals my dictionary yes and we have a mutable version of dictionary and this is it means that we can modify it later on and the way that we define an NS mutable dictionary is exactly like the others. An anatomic strong NS mutable dictionary. And my mutable dick. I'm not going to type all of the name. And at sign synthesize NS. Oh, sorry. My mutable dick equals my mutable dick. Okay. So, this is how we define types, different types of Objective C and foundations. These are the foundation frameworks. And also, we have NS number. This is a wrapper around and primitive types like integer, float, double, boolean. For example, if you want to add an integer inside of the array, NS array, it will not accept that integer by itself because it's not an object. This is primitive type. What we should do is just wrap it with NS number and then we can add it to that array. So I will talk about this NS number uh, later on, but 
just uh, something that you should know is that this is a wrapper around the primitive types. Uh, the way that we define it is going at sign property non-atomic strong ns number and we can say my number and we synthesize it exactly like the others my number equals underscore my number and that's it we define the most important frameworks in objective c as you can see we define it and then we synthesize it so it is ready to use right now Follow the next tutorials, then uh, I, will de uh, I will describe the details of each framework. Until next time!